is a faithful God. He's a faithful God. He's a faithful God. Yes, indeed, our God is faithful. <laughs> it gladdens my heart to come your way today again on the program, Jitaya's World, sponsored by Jitaya Music Production, North Carolina, USA. How do you do? <laughs> Fellow Nigerians, share Wakpao. Tokyo Kun Long, how would that day? Anyway, just don't mind my Ngbati Ngbati, that's how we roll here in Nigeria. We are broadcasting live from West Africa, Nigeria, southwest of the country, from a peace setter state or your state. And inside the time that stands Gidiba in times of war, Iluto Kori Ogbomasho Agility. Yeah, this is part of the fame 101.1 megahertz. I am Dele Ogotola, your anchorman. Be my guest on the program today, Jitayos World. Blessed be the Lord, my rock and my strength. My hands to work. Yes, yes, yes. Once again, the program is sponsored by Jitaya Music Production, North Carolina, USA. Here comes the first segment of the program. This is my story. My name is William Williams. I was born in a farm house in Wales, a part of the United Kingdom in 1717. My father was a wealthy farmer. I was sent to an academy to receive medical training as I wanted to become a physician. When I was 20 years old, students were talking about Howell Harris, a young man who was 24 years old. His fanatical preaching was upsetting many people. I was curious, so one Sunday morning, I determined to hear him for myself. Harris was a dissenter who was not allowed to preach in an Anglican church. It was his practice to stand on a tombstone in the graveyard beside the church. And as the worshippers left the morning services, he would begin to preach, Repent! Repent! Warning them of hellfire to come if they did not give their hearts to Christ. I was convicted by his message and I determined to become a preacher just like Harris. I left medical training and at the age of 23, I was ordained as a deacon in the Anglican church. I served as a curate in the Anglican churches for the next three years. When I expected to be ordained as a priest, I was refused ordination because of my evangelistic preaching. I therefore left the Anglican church and became an evangelist for the Welsh Calvinistic Methodist Church. In the next 43 years, I traveled more than 150,000 kilometers as I went from town to town in the small country of Wales, singing and holding revivers to preach the message of salvation by grace. Ha! It was a hard life. I traveled on horseback and was often cold and wet or hot and sunburned. In town after town, I was attacked by mobs organized by a leading Anglican citizen of the town. At one time, I was almost beaten to death. In spite of the persecution, the Welsh hymns I wrote attracted people to hear my messages. For all Welsh people love to sing. I became known as the sweet singer of Wales. My hymns were printed and many illiterate people learned to read so that they could join in the singing. In 1771, the Welsh preacher, the Reverend Peter Williams, translated the first stanza of my hymn, Guide me, O thou great Jehovah, into English. And the next year, I translated stanzas two and three. The English version was published by the English Counters of Ottingdon in Leaflet for use at a training school for preachers in South Wales. I died in 1791. And when I trod the banks of the Jordan, God bore me through the swelling current and landed me safe on Kenna's side. Those are lines from Sansa 3 of my hymn. Let me sing some lines for you in Yoruba. Mm. 
Mm. Glory to Jesus. Watch people no longer attend church as faithfully as they used to do. But today, at the beginning of every outdoor athletic event in Wales, they sing my hymn, Guide me, O thy great Jehovah. Ma touch me, Jehovah la, this is my story. Hmm. William Williams, despite all hurts, trials and persecution, he stands for Christ. What trials or difficulties are you passing through presently that kept you thinking whether to live for Christ or not? Friends, great Jehovah can guide you through. Always remember that thought stanza. When I throw the banks of Jordan, God bore me through the swelling current and landed me safe on Canaan's side. The Lord is always by your side. Don't give up. Just put your trust in Him. It shall be well with you. This is my story. All right, it is time to fly on that eagle's wing. The music of the day, titled Eagle's Wing. We love you, Jesus. Hey. I'm flying on the eagle swings. Nobody can stop me. Your mercy has healed me. I'm flying on the eagle swings. My hope is in Jesus. I'm moving in His power. Yeah. Come on. The joy of the Lord is my strength Come on, everybody say, come on now, let's go I'm flying on the eagle's wings Nobody can Nobody stop can me stop Oh, your mercy, your has, mercy healed has healed me, me. I'm, flying. I'm flying I'm flying on the eagle's wings Lord. My hope is my hope Jesus. Is Come on now. I'm moving in this power. I'm flying. I'm flying. On the eagle's wings. Nobody can stop me. Your mercy has healed me. I'm flying. Yeah. On the eagle's wings. My hope, my hope, my hope is in Jesus. I'm moving in this power.
And that was the music of Olua Kande from Jitaya Music Production USA. I hope you have subscribed on our YouTube channel and you are following us on Instagram. If not, I beg you, go and do it now. Eh? Go and do it now. Just type Olua Kande. It costs you nothing. So far, you are online. Download Olua Kande song on iTunes and other digital platforms. And for your information again, all the way from North Carolina, USA, Jitaya Music Production will be live in Oboma Shop very soon. The program is tagged Rehoboth. So, watch out. And now to the word for the week from the CEO, Jitayo Music Production, North Carolina, USA. Welcome to week six, season one, episode six. Grace to the humble. God gives grace to the humble. God dethroned a proud Vashit to raise a humble Esther as queen. In the book of Esther chapter 1, the name Vashit means beautiful, or it could mean best. The name Esther means star. It also means secret. Star outshine beauty and the best due to humility. Esther named queen as a result of her humbleness. Esther remained focused on task at hand. Vashit lost her position as queen because of pride. Esther fasted for three days. She takes her time to pray in a secret place. Have you gone to God to express your heart desire in prayer? Do you personally speak with your Creator? Where is your altar? Remember, time with God will always result in humility. I say again, time with God will always result in humility. The book of James chapter 4 verse 6, the scripture says, Quoted, God opposes the proud but shows favor to humble. God opposes the proud but shows favors to the humble. Let us be humble and let God take the glory. King Aaron in the book of Acts chapter 12, he was destroyed because of pride. He never uttered a word in that instance. His pride was in the heart. He had the people praising him but did not stop them. God does not share his glory with anyone. If you're beginning to feel like several things or people cannot do well without you, then it will show you that you are nothing. So when you hear anyone praising you, immediately ask them to stop because it annoys God. Remain humble. Give all glory to God and receive more grace. Proverbs 16 verse 18a. Pride goes before destruction. Finally, you cannot do anything without the grace of God. You cannot do anything without the grace of God. However, you only give His grace to humble people. Are you humble? Are you ready to receive grace? Good morning. Oh, what a motivation. What a motivation. Contact Digital Music Production on plus one two three one six two zero four two zero eight 6208 plus one Two three one six two zero four two zero eight. Ah, here comes the end of today's episode. Join me next week for another episode of the program, The Tyus Word, a word of music. I am Dilly Ogotola, your anchorman. Stay blessed. I'm